What's up, you guys? It's your girl Tamara G. I, and we are back with another video. So, today we are going to be decorating my car with me. I'm missing a nail and I have a pimple, so. But, yes, you guys, we're going to be decorating my car. I just got this car yesterday. This is a 2021 Honda Civic EX and it's all black and you see it has a sunroof and stuff but i'm going to show you guys what the car actually looks like and then we're going to get into the decorating because we're just going to get straight to it and then because we have a lot a lot of stuff so i'm going to show you guys as i'm putting it on i'm not going to show you guys like before because that's too much and it's too much we got to get done so yeah i'm going to show you guys what the car looks like and then we're going to get straight into the decorating and so let's get straight into it okay you guys it is extra hot outside today so we're gonna try to get this done as fast as we can so this is my car let me close the door oh i got handprints on my car okay so this is what the car looks like it's on right now so that's why you can hear it but i got some handprints on it but you know i have to keep this clean because it's black so let me show you guys the this is what it looks like all around it's so cute and it's so me like for real it's so cute and i'm so happy it got black rims on it that's me Ooh, okay and then um, let me show y'all the trunk i'm so happy this trunk so this is a hatchback so it has a lot of space in it i really really love this car like it's so cute this is the inside of the car i got some stuff that we're gonna be using today in the front seat but this is the inside this is what the interior looks like let me try to move yeah and then of course i have my sunroof and then we have the bag it's a lot of space in this car this car has a lot of space so let's get started so we are gonna do the seats first so you guys the look that i'm going for is like a very pink but glittery so it's gonna be so so cute but that's why I bought two steering wheels to try to see which one correlates better. So we're going to start with the seats first so that we can see. Because I got seat covers. And I hope they look right in the car. So we're going to start with the seat covers. And I'm going to see how everything looks after I put the seat covers on. And that's going to show me how I want the rest of the car to look. So we're about to get straight into it. I'm going to open the doors. Roll down all the windows because I know it's going to be hot. So, this is the big thing for the seat covers. Like, I know most people start with the steering wheel, but I'm trying to make sure that these seat covers look right. So, this is what the print of the seat covers. This is the color of the seat covers. And on each seat is this cute little thing. So, let me get the manual out because it comes with instructions so if i need help i'm gonna ask my sister to come help me but i should be able to do this myself i should be able to do this myself oh because i thought mm -hmm. i thought man i was looking for these the whole time i thought i was missing them okay also, if you told me congratulations on my car on Instagram and I didn't see it, thank you so, so much. But, so obviously I'm supposed to hook these on. Where is the directions? Oh my God! This is how it's looking. So, so far, this is how it's going. It's pretty cute. I'm about to continue to keep going. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna kinda show y'all how I'm doing the back seat. Cause the back seat is kinda tricky. So 
I'm gonna show y'all how I do this next time. And I don't even think I'm gonna add this to it. That's the thing that you sit right here. And if I can't get it properly, I'm not gonna add it. This is kind of hard though. It's kind of hard, but it's not as hard as I expected it to be. And my nails is coming off, y'all. These press-ons, but I'm going to lose all my press-on nails by the time we get done decorating this car. We got three, one, two, three, four, five. Five nails down. Let's see if we can at least have some nails by the time we're done. taking these press-ons off who I need to brush my hair I'm getting hot I need a lip gloss check before we add anything else we're gonna go with we're gonna start trying to figure out what I want for my steering wheel so I'm gonna show you guys which steering wheel I have and then we're gonna go ahead and put on which one look best okay you guys so I have a black steering wheel and a pink one. Let me show you guys what the black steering wheel looks like. So this is the black steering wheel. I have a pink steering wheel and a black steering wheel. So I heard these are hard to put on, but I just have to see what this look like. So I'm gonna do the pink first. if I didn't have nails I feel like if I had nails that this would have been bad okay so let me show y'all with the pink steering wheel and the pink on there you know so we're gonna try to black and see how the black fits because this is a job you got oh this is a job y'all hmm I'm gonna call my bestie and see what she thinks. No, I'm tired. Whew. Okay, sister, I have a question. Yeah. Okay, so you think I should do... Oh, ooh. Hold on. The black one? The black one? Yeah. Yeah, you right, you right, you right, you right. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Because that is a kind of different... Ooh. Bugs. Okay, that's the, that is a kind of different color pink. All right. Okay. Thanks, sis. So, I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the black steering wheel. I got a few more things. I got some pink posters. So, I'm gonna see if I even want the pink posters. But I'm gonna put them. Oh yeah, those cute. Get the pink posters on the inside. And I'm gonna add them to the back too. I'm gonna add them to the back once we get back there, but I don't feel like going back there. So next I got this thing. I'm gonna put it right beside me. So basically if I have anything in my coaster, this is additional so I can put my phone in and stuff. I don't know if I like this. Y'all, I bought all this stuff and I don't even know if I like this. Okay, let me show y'all. So this is just how it looks. This is it right there. I mean, it's cute, but like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that there for long. I got these little things. Crazy, I'm sweating. So this is supposed to go on the back of the seat. I'm gonna end up putting it on the passenger seat because normally if I'm hanging stuff up, I'm gonna hang it like this. So let me open these. Y'all, this is a job. I don't see how people be so enthusiastic with their car tours because, hey, T, this is a job, especially because it's hot outside, but it's a little later in the day. Like, it's, it's 4.55, so that's not too bad. I'll show y'all how that look. I don't know if y'all can really see that, but that looks really cute. 
like this whole okay that's cute so this is how it comes i'm gonna go ahead and put it on and then i'm gonna show y'all because like if i had somebody recording me i could bring y'all through the whole way of me doing stuff but i don't got nobody recording me it's so low dolo So we got the blinged out Honda. Not adding nothing right here because I heard that uh, some people put it on there and their car wouldn't start. So I'm not even chancing it. I'm just going, you know, keep it simple. But this is really cute. This is so cute, actually. Let me show y'all the other stuff that came with the steering wheel, the black steering wheel. This is my license plate cover. It comes with one in the front, one in the back, but you know, I'm just putting one in the back when my license plate comes. It also comes with a little good little ooh, glittery bolts to put on the little thing and then this charger. But I feel like I'll probably keep this in my glove compartment. I'm gonna put it in my glove compartment. But I'm probably not going to use it because we have something else that needs to be used. I have this stuff that what happens is when you are want to clean your car, this stuff you will use. And my sink, I said my sink, my dash is kind of like, okay. So my dash is kind of dirty. So before I even do anything with the dash area and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and clean it down a little bit. And it gets everything up over here like it's not too bad because you know i just got the car but you know dust and stuff we're gonna do this vent clip no 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 no. we're gonna do the vent clip last i got this vent clip from bath and body works it's really really cute and the sense that i got is watermelon lemonade sweet pea and aromatherapy it is the second day well no 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 no. it's like the third day i've been trying to record this but the car is officially done everything is done so i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and then we're gonna go into all of the other stuff it's been raining so my hair just look kind of crazy you know i just got my nails done so yeah let me show y'all the car hold on look at these nails though nails by jada period okay so i know i said i didn't want to add the headpiece and the thing but i went ahead and added it because it does look better and y'all y'all see how dirty the floor mats can get real quick so i'm gonna get some durable ones so i won't have to keep vacuuming out the car but <laughs> this is how everything looks without any lights or extras on so we're gonna get straight into the inside of the car and i also added a little bit of accessories to the console with that little accessory pad thing and then i also added the glittery honda sign so it really makes everything look cute from right here then i have my clip from Bath and Body Works, and it has a scent sweet pea in it. Right here, I have my Star of Anise right here. And then this is to plug in. This little thing right here came with the car. It's to plug in for the Apple CarPlay. On the side right here, it's like a little compartment. You can put stuff right here. So right here, I have my Clorox wipes right here. And then I have that stuff that I used to clean like the hard parts right here. Here it has my coasters in and it's just my cup that I keep that matches the car. And then let me show y'all my little thing on the side. This is the compartment for the side and I just have some lip gloss. Well, I have my gum in here. And then, ooh, I don't know what this is. Oh my God. Okay. So, and then I have my Bath and Body Works lip gloss on the side. It's just a spare lip gloss I can keep with me. And then normally sometimes I put my phone right here or keep it. I normally have my phone right here though. And then I'll show you guys my keys. 
my keys are pretty cute this is where i just put some extra stuff if i don't want to bring my whole purse or wallet inside and i got all this stuff from five and below except for the hand sanitizer on this keychain i got this from bath and body works but all of this other stuff i got it from five and below on my keychain and i think it's pretty cute we're gonna jump into the the glove compartment i'm gonna move this we're gonna put this the glove compartment so inside the glove compartment i have my extra fragrances for my car thing and these are from bath and body works i have watermelon lemonade and i have the aromatherapy eucalyptus and spearmint so i just put those right there because it's easy to find this is for extra change inside the car but this comes out so i'm gonna take it out real quick i'm trying not to do too much inside of here i have my little thousand wishes lotion and i have the spray as well just an on the go spray to keep i also have my lotion that i really use as well for my skin i really use this avino so if i ever need to put anything on my face this will be the one that i use and then i ate some of it today but i have a few left i always like to keep some type of sweet stuff in my car so this is my little Starburst. Yeah, I think I showed you guys everything. Oh, wait. Uh, just a full bottle of hand sanitizer on the side, just in case I need my hand sanitizer. And then in the glove compartment, I have all my important documents and stuff inside of there as far as what the car concerns. And then I also have some additional cleaning wipes inside of the glove compartment that I might need. I really look really pinked out today because... The pink uh, sweatshirt, pink nails, pink background of the car. Like, everything just looks so cute. And I didn't want to do too much for the car, you know? Like, I didn't, like, when, when I told people, when I told, like, my brother and stuff, people that I was decorating my car and I told them what I had, I felt like they probably thought it was going to be, like, too much. Like, you know how people put, like, too much stuff in their car? Because, like, your car, when you decorate your car, it's kind of to, like, enhance the car. It's not to, like, make it look so, so extra, you know what I mean? So, you still want to have the car looking all subtle and stuff, but you don't want to make it look too, too crazy. That's why I didn't want to have the pink steering wheel to overpower the pink seats that I have on. So, yeah but you know if it was some rgi's car she had to make it pink in some type of way you know i'm gonna turn on the car for y'all real quick so y'all can see what everything looks like when i turn it on so let me let me turn on the car real quick all right so my air is on but this is how everything looks i'm so sorry for my ugly socks right now out <laughs> the crocs <laughs> I had to put my uh, other slides on because I couldn't find my Crocs. But, yeah, so this is how everything looks when the car is on. I have my speedometer. is a digital one. And, you know, I really love it. Y'all, I've been driving. I'm already on. I got to go to the gas station because on half, I'm going to just, on half, I like to just fill my tank up back the way it was. So, I'm going to have to go to the gas station probably in a minute. But, um this is just like the this i really really like this because when i connect my phone it does the apple carplay and i can use my gps and stuff from my car i don't have to have like a whole different navigation system and stuff and y'all can kind of see the lights but you know i'm gonna show you guys how everything looks when it's dark but y'all can kind of see the lights but this is just the whole little setup that i have going on right now so you have audio and then it might my phone not connected right now so you can't really see the audio that's going on but you have the home and this is a touch screen you have um all this stuff that you can do Ooh, hold on okay yeah yeah i don't know what i'm doing okay yeah we're just gonna go home but yeah you have all the stuff and then also when you're driving if you can't see you can um you can work stuff from right here that you would work on the little steering wheel so i can go to press this button right here here and then 
come on focus and then you can have the different little settings and stuff and then this is for the turbo i just feel like that's pretty cool this is for the turbo and you can like boost the turbo up or whatever but like this is just you can manage stuff from the okay guys so this is what the car looks like at night um it's pretty cute y'all see the floor is kind of dirty though but it's pretty cute it's so cute y'all I've been driving this car for a couple days now and i really really love this car i feel like this car is for me this is like the perfect car for me all like the new features and stuff that comes with this car i really love it one feature that i really love about this car is when i'm going like if you on if you're driving and say if you kind of go to another lane your car is going to like your it's not too much of a your wheel like it's not too alarming but like the wheel is kind of gonna like go back to the lane that you was in like if you came out your lane a little bit it's gonna take you back to your lane also i like the brake like when it breaks for you i like that and i like at night you know i mean you know i'm a new person to a newer car so like on my last car if i needed to use my brights i would have to put them on but since my stuff is on auto when I'm driving at night, if the car feels like I'm in a like, too, too dark place, it will turn on the brights for me. So, I really, really like that. It's pretty, really, really, really cute. You know, I like that little feature. It's pretty cute. And then, also, you guys, buying a car, um, one tip I would say, just save for your car. And then, make sure, if you are financing your car, that you know that you can make your payments on time and stuff like that. Also, I got my car from Carrie Paul Honda. Um, that's located in Snellville. I'll put the little thing right here so you guys can see. Um, I found that dealership. I only went to one dealership, y'all. I literally looked online, decided what dealership I wanted to go to. I went to the dealership and then, um, I went to the dealership like a week before just trying to see what they had. And then I found a car that I really, really like. It was a Honda Civic it was a 2020 Honda Civic EXL, and it kind of looked like this car, but it just had leather seats. But I kind of feel like that probably wasn't the car for me because I was set on that car. And then when I got there, they told me that somebody already bought the car, like somebody bought that car. And then we walked around just to see if there was any other cars that I liked. And I seen this car, and it was a 2021. And um, I just said that I wanted it and I was like, okay, so we knew we did whatever we had to do back and forth, back and forth. And I got the car and I am so, so grateful because this isn't my first car. This is my second car. And I was fortunate enough. My, my first car was a Nissan Altima, 2007 Nissan Altima. And I was fortunate enough to have a car that was paid for because it was my mom's car previously and then she got a new car you know she got the big body infinity now so yeah don't play with her but yeah um i was very fortunate to have a car that was paid for to get me to and from high school and stuff like that and you know i had my little dings accidents all that type of stuff in that car so now that i have a brand new car like i'm kind of adjusted and i really know like what i'm doing now so I feel like I really deserve this car and but I was I didn't know I was gonna get a 2021 but like it still hasn't hit me that I have a 2021 car but I'm very very appreciative and um I'm very thankful because you guys I literally manifested my car like it's just so crazy how I did it because in the beginning of every the beginning of every month I write down all my goals that I want for that month and I literally wrote down my car like it was just so crazy I literally wrote down my car I wrote down I was gonna have a car in October because I was really trying to get a car by December but I mean you know god works in mysterious ways and he was like no you're getting your car this month okay sweetie so <laughs> so i um wrote down my car i wrote down my car details i literally said like um my notebook is in my room but i literally i can really show y'all like 
but like my handwriting look kind of crazy but i wrote it down i said i wanted a brand new car i wanted it to be a 2020 honda civic ex or or exl and i said i wanted to be nice on the inside i wanted a sunroof i wanted to be spacious like like everything that i basically wrote down is what what this car is and it's just so 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 crazy it amazes me all the time how i know that like my angels and everybody are watching over me because it's just like everything that i'm doing is coming to fruition and it's just it's just amazing y'all like i don't want to preach to y'all too much but it's just amazing and i'm very very thankful i'm very, very humble and i just i'm lo i love that i am able to have a car like this and also you guys um if you are looking to get a new car i would suggest going to care paul honda because i was looking at the reviews before i went and they were saying that care paul honda don't bash you you don't they don't do too much and stuff and they kind of make the car buying experience a little bit better and i my car buying experience wasn't too bad it was kind of hectic just a little bit but um i really really loved everything about the whole process and stuff and i would say if you're getting a new car i would say that you bring somebody with you that um bring somebody with you that you know knows like knows the whole stuff about buying a car and will get you the the deal that you need and will get you not overpaying for a car and stuff like that because i brought a family friend with me willie and he made sure that i got the price that i needed and everything on the car like he made sure that i wasn't gonna walk out without having the car that i wanted and i'm very very appreciative for him because he even went with my mom to get her car like he's just an expert at this type of stuff okay so um yes and also um, when you are, if you do decide to go to Care Paul Honda to get a car from them, I would suggest that you guys call and ask for Tony because he helped me buy, well, he sold, Tony sold me my car and I kept in contact with him probably like a week before I got my car. And even when I went to go look for, like, look at my car the day, he wasn't there. So I couldn't meet him that day, but he did call me and like, was like, Hey, so did you find a car that you like? Whatever, whatever. Like we just corresponded the whole time and he really made the experience like a good experience and it wasn't a bad experience. It was a good car buying experience. So if y'all want to get a car and y'all don't want to have no problems getting your car, make sure that y'all call care paul honda and be like hello can i speak to tony because i want a car okay okay <laughs> make sure y'all do that and yes we did take a picture so this is tony right here so y'all know what he looked like so y'all um go get y'all a car and go get it from care paul honda because they got me right they got me right and i got a car i want okay Ooh, like ooh, i still haven't cried yet y'all like i still I still haven't cried yet. Like, I thought I was going to cry. Because it still hasn't registered that I have a 2021 car. Like, it's not even 2021 yet. And I have a 2021 car. Like, that's just so crazy. Like, a whole vehicle. Like, I, I, I bought a whole vehicle. Like, I'm just... Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I need to stop. Okay? But, you guys, um, I wanted to say thank you guys for supporting me. Um, I don't know if we're going to be at 50K by the time I post this video, but I know we are very, very close to 50K. So, if we did hit 50K, thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Y'all always be rocking with me and stuff like that. And I always love seeing you guys' uplifting comments and things like that. So, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. Also, hit the notifications down below so you can see when I post. And also, you guys stay blessed don't forget to vote vote early if you did not vote already if you did not vote if you don't want to vote early just go and make sure you vote the day that it is time to vote because we really need to vote if you are 18 and up make sure you vote because it's very 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 necessary and i love you guys stay blessed this car just looks so like pink boss don't play with her the tripod do not fit on the car. Give me the cash or let it rain. Put some ice on it. Cash money make it. Oh, Honda, this is EX. Okay, please don't play with me. <laughs> Hellcat, this is an SRT.
this a hellcat for real really if you really want to take it there this really a hellcat like please don't play with me the h is for honda hellcat oh you said something you in my business okay don't do that <laughs> oh my god let me get out of here i'm doing too much